Welcome back to another video. So in this one I'm going to be showing you the new yacht that I've made. I've based this one off the Dutch yacht, the Utrecht. Uh, so as usual I'll go through the construction stages. So the 2D stage, I've made this ship 38 blocks long. So I've, uh, I've upped the scale slightly more than I did with the float and ship of the line just so that I could fit enough detail into this uh, fairly small ship. At the frame stage Try to make it as realistic as possible. Uh, the proportion size. Later on, I've sort of added quite unrealistic, over-the-top decorations. But I think the the hull, mast height, and things like that are fairly realistic. So the completed hull there. You can see I've added, as with the floating ship of the line, I've added things like the the beak head there at this stage. For the deck stage. Haven't added much detail to this one. Just some supports, gravel, uh, a more advanced colour scheme. And obviously the, the decks there. See, so I've just added a blue stripe there and a uh, white wall at the bottom. So the uh, rigging stage, you can see I've actually added the sword there, which uh, is there to stabilise the the ship. Of course, the rigging. Fairly basic, and the sail stage. So of course we've got one large sail there, uh, two jibs on the front, and one small square sail up there. Okay, so the final stage. I'll switch over to the one in the water, and just rotate around it. course some Dutch flags as this is a Dutch series and obviously Dutch ship. I've gone with a lighter colour scheme you can see I've gone for a light blue stripe there and uh, oak and jungle wood planks as the the main material which is lighter than uh, what you will see on the, the float for example and the ship of the line. Let's rotate the sun so that you can see the cabin easier. So I've gone for iron, sandstone, uh, acacia wood, uh, some different types of glass. I've gone for a lot of uh, many materials there, basically. That should be like that. So yeah, I've been as creative as possible as usual with the cabin. It's not realistic in any way. Like I said, the the shape of the hull and uh, the size of the sails and masts are realistic, but the uh, the final details such as these aren't realistic at all. Really, try and decorate it as much as possible. Turn the sun to the original position. See the uh, the beak head here. So sandstone slabs and stairs uh, paired with acacia slabs. I think that combination works quite nicely with the overall color scheme. See the anchor here that I've formed with stone bricks so I hope you think the uh, the colour scheme works quite nicely I try to um, differ it to the um, the float and ship of the line I've tried to make them fairly slim similar but uh, give them their own sort of uh, personalised scheme if that makes sense. So I've tidied the the rigging up at this stage. I've sort of smoothed this this rope in particular with the um, the fences. Try to make the flags look as uh, natural as possible. It's a bit difficult for this uh, for this scale. So um, this ship has ten cannons. It's got four on each side and two two on the back. As you can see here, the whip staff there. Haven't added too many interior details. Got to fix that. So, no details in the, the cabin here, but um, I like how this looks. It looks quite cozy, and obviously you can just about see the the float back there, which is nice. So like I said. Not really any details at the moment, just the, um, the simplistic stuff. I might add uh, some more later on. 
so I find the uh, the sports look quite nice at this stage. Um, so yeah, this is the the last ship of this series. Like I said, I've tried to I've tried to um, make it look quite similar to the float and ship of the line, so it sort of um, fits into the collection. So uh, if you've got any advice or constructive criticism, feel free to leave that in the comments. Obviously, added the that water effect with the web and the um, half slabs of water. So yeah, tell me what you think of the ship, guys. I'll I'll now leave you with a um, a slideshow of the the renders that I've made. So as usual, thanks for watching.